And I wish we could do this sharing of the good news with the people around us outside the churches, because there are people for whom this good news would really be news, and it would save their hectic lives. We have to do this. The scriptures call on us to do this. If we fail this effort in our time, we won't have the same resources that we've always had to do our second task of helping the poor and those in need. And not only that, if we don't do some of these things, we'll miss out on the joy that our Lord has promised us, which is the surest sign in this world of the joy that waits us in heaven. And I submit to you that our work, our work in these days and our work in the largest sense, should in every way make for the expansion of the freedom to eat in peace, to share life around a table without fear. I've spent a couple of weeks on my speech and so I have it here for you. Let's see, what did I say here? There it is, oh. So Dick, my good friend, I want to thank you for your gift to the church, for what you've given to us as, as pastors and congregations. Uh, ask God's blessing on you and Nancy Ann as you go enter the next chapter of your life. God bless Nancy Ann, because you'll be home almost every day for a while, and you'll probably kill her, or she'll, she'll kill you, one or the other. But uh, it's lunchtime now, and I've got to be on my way and get a big plate of Brussels sprouts from your favorite restaurant, New Course. We'll ship those to you every week, a plate of Brussels sprouts at, at your home when you're retired. God bless. There are many things to appreciate about Bishop Graham, and I'm going to talk about the ones that the treasurer of the Synod will appreciate. Number one, I appreciate the fact that he can read a balance sheet. And believe me, for a pastor, that's a rare and unusual talent. And perhaps the most important thing I appreciate about the bishop is his sense of humor. There is nothing in life that can't be improved with a sense of humor, and his is absolutely terrific. Say thank you, Dick Graham, for being a friend, mentor, a pastor for me. You know, in the pocket of Dick Graham is a, uh, a knife, a pocket knife. And he has that always at the ready. And I, when I think of you, I think of somebody who is always ready to share a kind word, a good thought, uh, a joke, and especially yourself. It's been my privilege and honor to serve with you for nine and a half years. When I first came to the Senate office, I really had zero idea of what to expect. I knew that Bishop Graham was kind and he was wise. I knew that he was a wonderful human being, I just really had no idea what the interaction with him would be. And he starts talking and sharing, and I realized, oh my goodness, this man is hilarious. Like, I could not stop laughing. And it was dry humor, of course, but it was one thing after another, and just being amazed by what I expected and who you really are, um, Bishop Graham. You are kind and wise and an amazing human being, and you are hilarious. And I'm so grateful for the humor and laughter that you've brought into this office. You've been such a gift, and I thank you so much for your leadership, for your mentorship, and for your friendship. Thank you, Bishop Graham. Hey, Dick, it's just me from the other side of the pond, so you're gonna retire. Are you sure this time? Yeah, I wish you all the best on this next chapter. Hope it gives you the rest and the peace that you so richly deserve. Can't believe that you're actually going to do it. We're just kind of a loss for everyone, but um, okay. <laughs> so take care. Don't eat too many of Nancy Ann's cakes. They're wonderful, but they're not good for you in large quantities. And all the best. Take care and hopefully I will see you soon. Bishop Graham, it has been my honor and my joy to work alongside you for the last four and a half years. You bring wit and wisdom and faithfulness and compassion to everything that you do. I pray that blessings are poured upon Nancy Ann and you in the years to come. Thank you. Bishop Graham, I was so pleased when I got the invitation to share a word of congratulations and thanks as you complete your service as Bishop of the Metropolitan Washington, D.C. Synod. As you know, my ordination was your first ordination, and that was an amazing experience. As I began my new call as pastor, and you were in the beginnings of your call as bishop your heart and your passion for the gospel and the guidance and listening ear that you offer to me in 
my first call was a gift that he gave me and strengthened me in my first years as pastor. So I send my thanks and my blessings on you as you close this chapter. Again, congratulations and blessings on this time. Dear Bishop Graham, I am so glad that I've had an opportunity to, to live with you and share with you and work with you. And I am so grateful, despite my thoughts at the time, that you've changed everything so much. Uh, you've made meetings a lot shorter. You've made distances a lot shorter. Um, you have figured out what was what was really necessary and what was a diaphora, as you theologians call it. Um, and for that, I am immensely grateful for your service as the Bishop of this Synod. Dick, we're sorry we can't be there for your farewell, but we wanted to take a chance to wish you all the best from Georgia. It's especially um, sad for me not to be there since uh, I enjoyed my time in the Synod office so much and especially working with you and all that I learned from you. It was truly a blessing for me and so I want to wish you all good things for what is to come. Yes, Dick, all the best for your retirement and special thanks to you and for your leadership, for your friendship, for your family. Um, I hope you'll all be able to take some time uh, and also spend some time with Nancy and have uh, a great time. So peace and blessings to you from all of us. I hope you have a great retirement. I hope you have great days. We were sad and we were happy, we were joyful, we were distressed, we experienced pretty much every possible human emotion in the last couple of days. But we did our work and we did it with God's blessing and we're glad now to be finished, but we're excited already about next year and we look forward to every chance we have to get together.